Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and today we're talking Game of Thrones. All week long, I am participating in a Game of Thrones week with Almost Sideways, Matthew Ehrenholtz, Zach Pope, and David Gerlach as we list our favorite and least favorite moments from the series. And today, I'm sharing my top five most shocking moments in Game of Thrones. So this is a series that never fails to shock, disgust, and make us all cry. So dwindling it down to just like pure shock factor was actually a little bit difficult for me, but I've done it, and here are the five that made the final cut. At number five, I have Circe blowing up the sept. This was just crazy. We all knew Circe was like scheming and racking her brain on how she was going to get out of all of this high priest foolery. But I don't think any of us quite expected for her to do it in such glorious fashion. And it was one of those times where you were so conflicted because that high sparrow and all of that had to go. But then you realize House Tyrell is all in there, including Marjorie. So you're like, oh wait, no, no, no. Can we, somebody get them out of there, get them out. <laughs> but no, Cersei just blew them all up. She literally exhibited mad queen sensibilities by blowing up part of King's Landing, a whole village, a whole little part of King's Landing. It was just crazy, but it was also so good. At number four, I have Daenerys's dragons hatching. So this whole scene was just awesome, but also just kind of like a surprise, kind of a shock, but a good one. So at the end of season one, Daenerys is ready to burn this witch. After she has killed Daenerys' unborn baby and like did what she did with Khal Drogo, so she's gonna burn her. And then she's like, oh wait, but I'm also gonna burn myself. But with such an awesome moment when all of those flames came down, to see Daenerys sitting there, unburnt, and have little Drogon come up on her shoulder, and just everybody's faces dropped, all of our faces dropped. It was so awesome. Dragons live again. At number three, I have Jon Snow's death. So we all love Jon Snow, and he was another main character that I hadn't really anticipated dying and definitely not in the fashion that he did die in if it was gonna happen i thought maybe out when he was running around with the wildlings or some sort of actual battle but to have like little ollie being like come on out we found your uncle and then turn around and have the man of the night's watch stab him and betray him and kill him was shocking and devastating just as they pulled out on that shot of his dead body just bleeding all over the snow. And of course, that was the cliffhanger for the end of the season. We all had a whole year to sit there shocked, thinking about what had just happened. At number two, I have Ned Stark's death. This was the first big big shocker in the series. We had had some other little shockers in season one, but the fact that they went through and killed the main character in season one blew mine and I'm sure many other people's minds. In hindsight, it was Sean Bean, so we should have seen it coming. Oh, no, there's a car. In hindsight, it was Sean Bean, so maybe we should have seen it coming, but oh my goodness, I wasn't prepared. I thought for sure we were going to get out of this some way, somehow, but nope, they, they went through with it and shocked us all. So before I get into my most shocking moment, here are a couple of honorable mentions. Cersei's other big shocker for me in the series was her walk of shame. It was a moment that completely took me back in how deep and like flooring it was. I wasn't anticipating something so long and so gruesome and just disgusting to watch. And to have a moment that makes me feel for and empathize with the character that is so vile and I had hated 
all the way up into that point, and pretty much after that point, is quite the feat. My other honorable mention goes to Arya killing Walder Frey, and the subsequent just destruction of House Frey. We all knew Arya had these skills, she had been with that faceless man, but I was completely caught off guard when that little handmaiden was like, your sons, they're right here in this pie you're eating. It's like, wait, what? And then she ripped off that mask and it just was like mind blown. I loved it, but I also was completely shocked when that moment took place. So my pick for the most shocking moment in Game of Thrones history is a little bit predictable. Yeah, it's the Red Wedding. So I never read any of the books, and thus I was completely shocked by the Red Wedding. Especially with all of the customs of peace and not killing guests in your home, and the build-up, and the fact that these were key main characters, yet again, that all set up for a very shocking scene in and of itself, but just how brutal. Just how savage the whole scene was really just made it shocking. It is always shocking to see a pregnant woman getting stabbed in her pregnant stomach over and over. And then to just watch the complete destruction in front of you was completely and totally shocking. Something I was not prepared for. And if you go online and see all the reaction videos, most everyone was not prepared for. So while there were a ton of shocking moments in Game of Thrones history, for me, none of them really compared to just how taken back and how completely moved and beside myself I was watching the Red Wedding take place. So that is my list for the most shocking moments from Game of Thrones. Make sure that you go on over and check out the list on Almost Sideways, Matthew Ehrenholtz, Zach Pope, and David Gerlach's channels as they'll also be posting their most shocking moments as well. Also, I want to hear from you all which moments shocked you the most from this very shocking series. And what did you think of the moments I mentioned here in my list? Let me know either in the comment section down below or you can hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your support. Mwah! Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! Matthew Ehrenholtz